Hey guys, these are the three most hidden tricks when you're animating your titles in Wondershare Fimora 12. So I'm so excited today to bring these tricks to you knowing very well that when I give a title like most hidden, at least 50% of the information I'm giving out in this video is new to every one of you guys who is watching this video right now. Believe me, 50% of it is new to each and every one of you. So while we are still excited, let us jump into the video right now and see all these tricks for ourselves. But just a moment before that, here is a quick message from the sponsors of today's episode. Wondershare Filmora team, there is an opportunity for you to join Filmora Achievement Program. And in few seconds, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So the first thing is to sign up before you start and make sure you upgrade to version 12.5.5. And here you can enter your details to sign in. And now you can check out this program to see more information. Step number two, stay curious. You can check out each base, learn more option to see the tasks and the rewards. After you've unlocked, you can share your milestones on social media. The tip three is about collecting your rewards. Click the My Reward option to check out all the rewards. You can view and redeem your rewards after unlocking the badges. Join Fimora Achievement Program to earn badges and to unlock the exciting rewards now. So here is my very first trick guys that I'm going to show you from the list of today. So I've already added a text right here just to use in our examples. Okay, let me show it from this perspective. I'm sure everyone is aware of this behavior of keyframing in Wondershare Fimona 12. Okay, let us assume that you want to add a keyframe on your text in this way. Then after some few seconds, you increase the scale. Then that means you have now two keyframes on the same text increasing the scale of the text okay now here comes the issue whenever you try to adjust the duration of the text the keyframes automatically shifts the positions it maintains the proportion of the duration all according to the customizations you have done at first but what if you want the keyframes to maintain their frames well that is simple you just add markers but that is not the actual point of the first trick just in a moment. So for those who didn't know how to work with markers when keyframing titles, after you have added markers like what I have done right here, and when you adjust the duration of your titles for the second time, just as usual, the keyframes are still going to shift. So you are going to adjust them according to your markers. But now here comes the main fact of this trick. Let us go on to the advanced. And let us say you still have the same issue. You still want to add your markers. You still want to add a keyframe on a certain frame. So what you are going to do on the advanced tab is very simple. Just move your playhead to the exact position where you want to add a keyframe or you want to mark as a certain frame or a position before you apply your customizations. After moving your playhead to the exact frame that you want to mark, use the outer key from your keyboard and then make a click on that very same frame that you want to make a mark and automatically a keyframe is going to be added but right here on the advanced tab is not going to show up so let us apply and see it. and there it is and that is adding a keyframe from the advanced tab now let us move on guys i got the inspiration of this second trick when i was trying to use the presets animations so the issue right here maybe i have to first tell you the problem that you are trying to solve here before i bring up the solution these guys right here that we call the preset animations they got a problem of not being flexible they just cannot reduce or increase the duration of how they animate okay let us show this as an example let's say i choose this preset right here which is called boom and i double click it to activate it so now it is applied to my text right here as you can see right here so when i extend the duration of my text in this way the in and out animations becomes boring because they are also extended and this is where my second trick comes in because it is going to help us to keep the duration of the animations same even though the text has been extended so this is very simple and the original duration of this text was like this and assuming that we want this length we are going to duplicate this text right here and move it right to the end the next thing is to find out the exact frame where the animation ends and then add a marker right there and on the next title we have to find the frame where the animation starts 
Now we add the opposite keyframe right below the marker and then fade out after some few seconds. And then on the next text, that means we are going to fade in after some few seconds. And now the next thing is to duplicate one of these titles up. And then limit it within the markers. And then after that, we just have to set it on no animation. And you are done. So the simple trick right here guys is that we are using the animations of these shorter titles while it's the longer title right here is not having any animations. So by that trick you achieve the need of your project. Let us go on to the last one guys and right here I decided to give you what you must know it doesn't work out when you are keyframing the titles. So making this last trick a tip makes the whole video to be a tips and tricks. Isn't it so? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So whenever you are doing titles keyframing in Wondershare Filmora, don't ever try to change values from the previous screen. And I'm doing this according to this current version that we have of Wondershare Filmora. But if you get some updates in the future, then that is it. You can surely change the values from the previous screen if you are animating the video or another file like the stickers and so forth. But on titles, this doesn't work completely. On the very last tip guys, we are still making a comparison with the way we deal with video clips and stickers and so forth when doing the keyframing. And as much as you can copy and paste keyframes on those, that doesn't apply on text titles. We are not yet copying and pasting keyframes on titles. So these are all the tricks that I wanted you to get guys from this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you have liked the video, subscribe.